The descendant of Sir Samuel Baker, David Baker, has completed his maiden expedition of retracing the history of his great-great-grandfather, who was here 149 years ago. David Baker, who is in the company of his daughter, Melaine Baker, trekked the Kaboyo Wildlife Reserve to the Albert View, where Sir Samuel Baker stood to name Lake Albert. He then headed to Fort Patiko in Gulu, where he spent time fighting slave trade before visiting Sir Samuel Baker High School, which he said is in urgent need for rehabilitation. David Baker also took a historical move to the falls which Sir Samuel Baker named after the president of the Royal Geographical Society, then Sir Roderick Maxion. Upon seeing the falls, David Baker read out some of the excerpts that he got from his great-great-grandfather's diary that he used to describe the falls before he named the Maxion Falls National Park. I'd heard this on waking in the morning, but at the time I had just imagined it was distant thunder. By 10 o'clock, the current had so increased that as we proceeded, that it was distinctly perceptible, although still weak. His excitement was unstoppable, saying his dream has come true. What a place. Think of my great-great-grandfather and seen this for the first time. The Murchison Falls. The fact that there is no geographical evidence to show the terrain Delbius exclusively asked Baker what inspires him to believe that Sir Samuel Baker was at those particular points. Uh, as, far as, as far as I know from the diaries that I have seen, that I, he reached a point above the Murchison Falls. But I can't say it was absolutely on this very bit of ground, but I'm pretty sure it is. It's against this backdrop that the Royal Geographical Society instituted a nine-year anthropological research to take a keen study of the second phase of the Great Africa Expedition. Lead researcher Julian Monroe Fisher is taking a comparison of the current dispersions of Africa tribes along rivers, lakes, and finding whether they still match the old information documented in 1800. To Fisher, the information so far documented in Uganda will go a long way to reposition and market the Pearl of Africa on what it has to offer to the world, depending on information systems at the Royal Geographical Society. There have been drastic changes. A lot of times it's not easy to notice the changes if you live within a society day in and day out. Dr. Andrew Seguia is the director of Uganda Wildlife Authority who says that the expedition by the Baker descendants is a welcome move to the development of the tourism sector. We feel as UWA and as Uganda that we need to take cognizance of our history. We, 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 we need to harness that history to support our tourism. We have already, I've already said how the Great ex, uh, uh, African Expedition, tracing that historic route, is going to be one of those offerings that we are going to give as tourist attractions. Yay! The expedition will be headed to the north parts of South Sudan in Ijuba, along the River Nile. Stephen Miri, WBS News. Imagine the crocodile.